Every year we recognise the amazing contribution that our volunteers make to the work of BeBout. Now this year is a little bit different, we can't present our awards in person, but I'd like to introduce three really inspiring and very worthy winners of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award and it goes to three people. I've worked with Derek Cup now for over 10 years and I'm so pleased that he's receiving this Volunteer Lifetime Achievement Award. His dedication to wildlife conservation and the heathlands locally, especially here at Greenham Common, has been fantastic. He was one of the founding members back in 1997 for the Greenham and Crookham Conservation Volunteers and was probably one of the very first people to carry out conservation work here on the Commons after the airbase closed. Ever since then he's been organising and leading volunteer tasks for that group. More recently, in 2014, he became a regular member of our weekly conservation group here in West Berkshire, expanding his reach to other nature reserves, including Padworth Common, Bowdown Woods, Thatch and Reed Beds, and Snellsmore Common. In the last couple of years, he's joined the field team here in West Berkshire, which is a team of highly skilled volunteers carrying out some quite technical tasks improving the infrastructure and safety on our nature reserves. In the last couple of years he's also turned his hand to hedge laying and he probably wouldn't thank me for saying this but I think he's become a bit of an expert really. I'm so pleased that Derek has won this award. Thank you for all your hard work, your dedication, your camaraderie and all of the laughs along the way Derek. Thank you. Crabtree for over 15 years and he's been the Lambswell Nature Reserve Warden for over 20. His love and passion for the reserve in the local area is evident. His knowledge has been a real asset to our team. A couple of months back at the age of 96 Bill decided to retire from the role. It gives me great pleasure in knowing that Bill is going to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award. Not only has he been a volunteer reserve warden, but also a livestock checker at Hook Norton that's allowed us to continue our vital role there. Bill and his wife Barbara have also kindly gifted a piece of land next to Lamb's Pool called Woodford Bottom and we thank him very much that. Many thanks Bill for all your hard work and dedication over the years and I wish you well for your retirement. It's fantastic news to hear that Marjorie has been awarded one of this year's volunteer awards and it's richly deserved. I first met Marjorie back in 2008 when I started a Bee Bout but she had already been volunteering for Beebout since 1991. In those early years, she helped David Dunlop and Nigel Phillips survey and write management plans for several Beebout reserves, including Chinna Hill. In subsequent years, she helped Emma Broad with the Churchyard Project and Kath Shellswell with the Water Vault Project. Since 2002, Marjorie has been a great help with the Trust Reserves Monitoring Programme, carrying out numerous habitat condition assessments both on her own and as part of group events, passing on her knowledge to numerous volunteers, trainees and staff. Also, since 1993, she's been monitoring the small mammal population and monitoring the dip wells at Parsonage Moor, as well as running a very successful annual small mammal trapping session, again for staff, volunteers and trainees. So thank you very much for all your help, Marjorie. It's a richly deserved award and it's also great to hear that you're wanting to volunteer for BeBout for many years to come. Congratulations to those three very worthy winners and a final thank you to all of our volunteers who work tirelessly day in, day out, year in, year out for BeBout. It's truly tremendous what you do for us and what you do for achieving nature's recovery. We really couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much.